Welcome to The Final Wager, I'm Keith Williams, and uh, while this is my most uh, visible role, no pun intended, by day I'm a journalist and I spent a lot of time on the New York Times archives because I like historical stuff and I like the way it informs us about some things that have happened in the past. You know what they say about history, right? Anyway, when Jose mentioned that he had been in the Times when he was six, I took that as a little bit of a challenge, and I spent the rest of Jeopardy and the entirety of Wheel of Fortune and a little bit after that looking for it, and eventually almost gave up because I thought it might be a wild goose chase, but finally found it. And if you want to read about primitive computers, entertaining first graders, and seeing good King Wenceslas, go to The Final Wager and you'll find the article there. We do have a game tonight. Jose in the lead, 19-8. Natalie in second, 11,000. Richmond with that unfortunate misspeak on the Apennines, the Apennine Daily Double. That cost him 10,000. He's out of contention now. The wagering here is pretty straightforward. Jose just needs to wager at least 2201. He actually has a lot of latitude. He could wager up to 87.99, or if he wants to, much, much bigger than that. And uh, Natalie should just go for everything. Natalie ended up trying to cover a incorrect response by Jose, which I don't really like. I like when you force your opponents to get it right. It was moot in the end. Uh, Jose is now a two-time champ, and we'll be back on Monday. I do want to talk about one bit of strategy that got overlooked tonight. Before the penultimate clue, there are four clues remaining. A 400, 800, a 1600, and a 2000. If play were to stop right now, Jose would have this thing locked up. Natalie could only get to 18.8. Jose went for the $1,600 clue. Natalie got it right, got up to 11,000, and was in contention going into final. If Jose had just gone for that $400 clue instead, Natalie would have 9,800 if she had gotten it right. Jose would have just more than double her score. At all costs, try to get that lock, because you don't want to put your fate into a single question. Better to just relax and maybe put down a joke answer if you wager zero. Maybe as the leader, it's a good idea if there's not a lot of time left, and you know that, and you have control of the board, just take a deep breath, look at the scores, and see what you need to do. It's entirely possible, let's say Natalie had... Oh, that would be good. 10,400. Let's say these are the scores. Jose might see these scores and say, okay, well, Natalie doubles up. She's going to get 20,800. So I need to go for a 16 or $2,000 clue to have a chance to lock her out. Quick math. I'm not saying it's easy. I'm not saying it's even really feasible. But if you're aware of it, it can't hurt you. Jose will be back on Monday. And I hope you will be too. Enjoy your weekend. We'll see you then on the final wager.